So coming to the next problem, it is a beta case problem. Since in the last condition, that is a VP inclination appearance is not given. So coming to the problem, here an hexagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its edges of the base. So we have satisfied this condition. Draw the projection of the pyramid when the axis is inclined to HP at 45 degree. We have satisfied here and to VP at 30 degree. So coming to this particular. So to begin with, so measure the original axis length and an apparent axis length that is O2, O1 is 35.36. Go to the line command. Take the suitable line and width. Randomly draw one line. Next, measure this angle between XY line and this line. So if it is not 30 degree, type 30 degree, it changes. If this is not changing, go to tools. Maintained relation should be switched on. Once it is switched on, ensure this angle between driving is activated. After this, go to arc by center point. At one convenient point, type the original axis length that is 50, cut an arc, go to low axis line. With this intersection, draw one locus line, which is parallel to XY line. Again, go to arc by center point. If this center is not showing, just touch this. So click here. Next is 35.36. So again, you cut one more arc this way. Go to line command. Join this intersection and this center. Measure an angle between the new line and that XY line that shows an angle beta that is 45 degree. How to insert a beta? Go to text, select symbol, type here, ensure caps is not on. Type B, you will get beta. If you type A, you will get alpha if required. So this is done. Further, select this figure. After selecting this, go to move command. With one reference point that is O or O1, you can start moving. Let me take this O point. Ensure copy is on. Place at this particular point. So be careful while placing. Next, immediately go to rotate option. Click this end point and this end point. Place it on the beta line. So once this is done, as usual, further procedure remains stay same. So from all these points, project to this right side by taking suitable type and width. So a dash to f dash to right side. So projecting this, as usual, we know that the resting edge falls on x y line. I directly stop here. Next, E point falls somewhere here. So you can do the same procedure with the alignment indicator also. If due to some relation, if it is this way, type 90 degree and place it here. Coming to the F point. So you can place this. And A point, move along the axis, it shows end point. So bring the axis in place. So after placing this, take this O1 also. Sorry, O point. So after taking this, go to trim, trim this extra part. So if you have sufficient time, you can show this directions of projection.
So further name this as usual, go to text command and start naming all these points. So after naming as usual, zoom this part. So since base part is clearly visible, go to line, take the continuous and suitable width. So the base part is say starting from A, B, C, D, E, F, and again A. So all this with the dashes. So as I told, have a look a dash to o it is not dividing the base so it is continuous again same with b dash also next from c dash to o dash is continuous because it is not dividing the base again with same with f dash also next coming with e dash so since it is dividing the base technically speaking when the base is visible the edges behind that is not visible so I have considered this if the base is dividing the line if the line is dividing the base then it is a dotted line further you need to draw an axis line join from o1 to o then give fit this completes your problem